Kamala Harris has made history as the first female, first black and first Asian African to become the Vice President of the United States. Prior to taking oath, Ms. Harris paid tributes to the women who she says came before her. I stand on their shoulders, she said in a video. To the woman most responsible for my presence here today, my mother, Shamala Gopalan Harris, who is always in our hearts. When she came here from India at the age of 19, she maybe didn't quite imagine this moment, but she believed so deeply in an America where a moment like this is possible. And so I am thinking about her and about the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women, who throughout our nation's history. 56-year-old Harris was born in Oakland, California to two immigrant parents, an Indian-born mother and Jamaican-born father. She went on to attend Harvard University and described her time there as among the most formative experiences of her life. Kamala says she has always been comfortable with her identity and simply describes herself as an American. After four years at Harvard, Ms. Harris went on to earn her law degree at the University of California and began her career in Alameda County. She became the district attorney for San Francisco in 2003 before being elected the first female and first African American to serve as California's attorney general. In her nearly two terms in office as Attorney General, Ms. Harris gained a reputation as one of the Democratic Party's rising star, using this momentum to propel her to election as California's junior U.S. Senator in 2017. She was the only second black woman ever elected to the U.S. Senate. Ms. Harris, though, dropped out of the presidential race in December 2019, but didn't choose her as his number two in August, calling her one of the country's finest public servants. After Biden was announced as the next president in November, Ms. Harris tweeted a video of her congratulating her running mate. We did it, we did it Joe, we are going to be the next president of the United States, she beamed in a video.